lost objective fighter. Hi guys, this is Matthias, and would you believe that we are already in February of 2024 and we're still playing Battlefield 1 that was released in 2016. Of course, there are plenty of games that people play for an extended period of time, but what's important to understand about the Battlefield is that this is a game franchise, and normally every two or three years there is a new game coming out in said franchise. Now, for obvious reasons, dice that make the game and their owner EA wants you and everybody else to buy the new game and start playing that new game rather than continuing to play the old game. So now there are many reasons why I myself play Battlefield 1 despite the fact that I did buy Battlefield 5 when it was released in 2018 and I did buy Battlefield 2042 when it came out in 2021. I played both games I have actually enjoyed both games, but uh, I still find oh, Battlefield 1 to be this. more enjoyable. And a lot of people keep asking me during my streams, which happens oh, yeah, on my main that, channel, uh, by the way, not on this channel, my main YouTube channel, that's where I stream. People keep asking me on and on, um, is this game still worth playing? Are there still, is there still a community that keeps the game alive? Uh, are there servers? And should I play this game rather than any of the other battlefields? Well, answering this question is rather tricky because it depends on a variety of different reasons whether or not this is the game for you. Now, the number one reason, of course, would be what do you think about what you see when you watch other people playing any of these games? If Battlefield 1 seems like it's the most fun and most interesting game to play, then maybe another factor like for example how much They're the coming. game costs might be uh, another driving factor that uh, directs you towards Battlefield 1 since it's probably a little bit cheaper than the newer games in the franchise. Of course another reason is is your hardware uh, powerful enough to play or uh, at least enjoy the other games and here again you might want to choose Battlefield 1 for that oh, reason I as well reload. however can... for a lot of people the most important thing to check out and be sure of is that the region where you live has a Battlefield 1 community that is big enough so that you can play the game the way you want when you want to now if Battlefield is the game you want to play but you're uncertain of some of the other things that I brought up one of the ways you can check this out is on my streams on my main channel. There's a link in the description and you can ask me and more importantly, my viewers who can then help you out if they themselves live in uh, the same region where you live so that they can answer whether or not there is enough of a community in your region to play this game. Now keep in mind when I'm streaming I have quite a bit of a stream delay on so I might miss some of uh, the questions especially when there is a lot of int intensity in the game so uh, either you have to ask the same question again hopefully without being frustrated over me not responding it does happen that I miss comments and questions it's unfortunately unavoidable uh, and I hope you don't take that personally so now as you probably know in Battlefield 1, the servers are listed in specific server lists that need to be refreshed every once in a while. And this is something that a lot of people seem to be missing and a lot of people actually believe that the, the, uh, that the servers are more empty or that the game is completely dead when there are thousands of people playing. So remember, if you can't see players in your region or in any servers, just refresh the server list and uh, yeah, look again. You'll be surprised how many people are still enjoying Battlefield 1. So now, why is that? Some people might ask. Why is it that people are still playing this game that actually is about to be 8 years old later this year? Well, some of the answers to that are quite tribalistic. There are a number of general opinions that are shared among, well, certain groups of players, certain type of players that uh, 
for whatever reason really really loves Battlefield 1 or for whatever reason really dislike the other two or even more so maybe a combination of both. Now I'm not going to try to convince anybody one way or another. I have my opinions made up, I have shared that in several different videos and in my live streams and uh, as a matter of fact I actually do think that Battlefield 2042 is a pretty decent game. I did have a lot of fun playing it but uh, it's just more enjoyable to play Battlefield 1 for me and I am of course hoping for the next game in the Battlefield franchise and I'm looking forward to another couple of games that are coming in the Web3 communities. Now the best thing about Battlefield games in my opinion is the variety and uh, hopefully this video showcases part of that but otherwise you have to of course check out my live streams I am live basically every day on my main channel and I hope I'll see you there soon. The rest of this video will now continue as a reactions video, so stick around and thanks for watching. Ah, uh, you got um. Uh, Devris, can you can you fix this uh, the language problem here? Speak English. Or I'm gonna have to start banning people. I don't want to do that. I'm gonna start timing you out if you don't uh, speak English. We have taken objective Charlie. Passive-aggressive insults. Or oh, another elite just dead. Vierci patrone. Vierci artilleria protivnica. A sentry kit is available near your location. What are you saying, Yontemira? What patron? Hey, Yonte, are you trying to say something? What patron? Держи. Patron, налетай. We have taken objective butter. Flash your munition.
Olympic did it, did it, did it. Wanna chunk, got to. We have lost objective. See, I'm flooked. Wanna chunk for this. We have lost objective Freddy. Munition für dich. Flasche Munition. Mehr Munition. Somebody here. 